once we put it down on paper, especially anxiety, it tends to build up and we try, we tend to make up scenarios that aren't even real. Um, journaling, writing it down, like even just writing every single morning, what I've been doing is five gratitudes, five affirmations. And if I feel like I've got something heavy, I just try and journal about it and come up with some kind of a solution or just like do like write it down and be like, okay, actually, you know what? I'm way more in control of the situation than I thought I was. Um, so five affirmations, five gratitudes every single morning. Um, but also if you feel like you've got something going on, please guys, I know it's such a, like it's hard task sometimes, but try and journal about it. The third thing is 10,000 steps a day. I can very easily do this because I live by the beach and I'm the sunny Gold Coast. I understand it's not possible for everyone, but if you can get outside and get some steps in, trust me, you guys, there's times where I'm sitting in my house and I feel like shit, right? As soon as I get out and I have the fresh air and I'm strutting down the boardwalk, I'm a different person. And 10,000 steps, you guys, are just so, so great. Um, first of all, for digestion, my bloating is so much better, um, but also it's just so good for you. So good for your body to make sure you're step, like still walking. I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that keep us the youngest, if we could just keep on moving. So I try to do that. I do 10,000 minimum a day and I break that up. So if I haven't done my 10,000, I'll just do another walk in the afternoon. It's so good for you. Thing, well, the fourth thing is happy podcasts. I've tried to do the personal development podcast. They're just not for me. So podcasts that make me laugh and I put them on and if I'm in a bad mood, <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm having a laugh and that just serotonin is boosted. Okay. So happy hour, Lucy and Nikki, one of the greats, um, inspire, un those are my two, inspired unemployed, the girls bathroom, Sophia and Chintzia, they have me cackling. Okay. And on instantly mood is boosted. Mood is through the roof when I'm listening to one of those. I'm at the pass and ditches, make the whole eat me for dinner. Work, work, pain, all in my eyes, I can't see. I'm at the jump out my body, I'm ready to leave.
What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's... do you want? God damn it. What do you want? We'll begin the curl-ups now. Ready? Begin. Up. Down. One. Up. Down. Two. Up. Down. Three. Up. Down. see you again and you are just well better Because it's gross stuff, but it tastes good when it's put out together. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Onions, garlic, onions, garlic, celery, balsamic vinegar, tomato paste. That's a big word for Elmo. Okay. 
Hey everyone, it's Dr. Ozzy. Let's talk about Bella Hadid's glow up transformation. She just celebrated her 24th birthday and Insta storied all about it. I want to remind you, I'm not her doctor. I've never treated her. This is just my opinion, but let's start with her foxy eyes. She's definitely had some Botox to lift the brows, arch the brows, and some thread lifts to make that accentuated foxy eye look. Rhinoplasty to slim the nose, lift the tip, and give it a little more definition. And some cheek filler, jawline filler to give her that chiseled, contoured, monolesque look. And last but not least, a little lip filler for a fuller, more luscious pout.